Happy Sunday! Yes, it is May 28th, 2023, and flipping the script a little bit, been led to do the before church story. Yeah, while I'm waiting for my bath water to fill the tub, might as well. Hey, so let's grab a book from the stack here courtesy of the Chicago Public Library. And what do we have? In every life. In every life. Come on, let's enjoy this book by Marla Frazy. Look at the little girl. I don't know if you can see this, but she's blowing out a candle. Look like a birthday, but she looks like she's more than one years old, so I'm not sure. Life is a miracle. Oh, talk about it. Life is a blessing. Life is life and in every life. Girl, you better encourage me on this beautiful Sunday morning. And as we're celebrating Memorial Weekend of all the lives that were given, come on, away in every life we celebrate. All right. Uh, and the author is dedicating this to their grandson, Arthur. All right, let's do it. In 1998, at a service at All Saints Church in Pasadena, California, I heard a call and response version of a Jewish baby naming blessing and immediately felt its potential, she felt its potential as a picture book. The original source of the poem is unknown, but it has been adapted and widely used in welcoming ceremonies of all kinds. I revised and attempted to illustrate the blessing many times over the ensuing years with no, she says luck, with no fortune. It wasn't until the fall of 2020, during the pandemic, when so many things about our world were upended that I felt it was time to try again. I hope to capture and honor what we all have in common, no matter who we are or where we live. And during the time I was working on it, my first grandchild was born. Uh, thank you, Marla Frazee. So let's let's dive into your work here. Let's see. In every birth, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. She goes through the seasons. Blessed is the wonder. I tell you, I agree. New life. Yeah, being able to play and snuggle. Oh, this is wonderful. And did she illustrate this too? Outstanding, these look like watercolors. Look at this. Come on, let's celebrate it. Another day, in every smile, in every smile, blessed is the light. Come on, you better tell of the beautiful news in life every day. This is the day. Come on, look at this. Ooh. Yes. You see how she's joyful here? Come on. I know there's there's a lot of sorrow, there's a lot of pain, but still, you're here. And every hope. Blessed is the doing. Yay. Look at the grandfather repairing the bike or painting the bike. <laughs> Look at the little toddler learning how to potty train. Look at the girl practicing how to play the guitar. Look at the family and Thanksgiving preparing a turkey. Come on, so much. Look at the perhaps college student doing some studying or maybe some drafting or architectural work. I don't know, but there's hope. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Come on. Life is an adventure. Let's see where it's gonna take us. In every sadness, ooh, I was just talking about that. In every sadness, hmm. Blessed is the comfort. Yes. There's comfort even in 
our emptiness. Yeah. In our gray days. In every moment. Mm -hmm. Just came from outside and in the jog. Look, you know I love the painting. Communicating, blowing bubbles. In every moment, blessed is the mystery. Who gave me this gift? Look, little boy is pointing up to nature, right? So much, so many unanswered questions. And this is the bigger picture of life. Hmm? The mystery, how? Some things we'll never find out until eventually. In every love, look at this, in every love, Yes, blessed are the tears. Happy tears, graduation. Come on, there's some graduations coming about. Winning a game. Ah, some forgiveness here. And elderly embracing. Come on, look at this. Still tears, still there's hope. Oh, this is a beautiful book. I didn't choose this. And in every life, in every life, come on now. Blessed is the love. Sharing moments. Mm, that's right. And during pain, you still can show love and share what is within you. In every life, you're called to do that. Look at this. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Oh, my goodness. Is that the last page? Love it. What a beautiful book on this beautiful Sunday. Marla Fries lives in Pasadena, California, and works in a small backyard cabin under an avocado tree. <laughs> it's hard to imagine a cozier and more spacious world. Both timeless and thoroughly modern perfection. Talking about the cabin, <laughs> hopefully, I, James Weldon Johnson used to have a writing cabin. You know, the writer of the Negro National Anthem, Lift Every Voice. And I said, um, well, I was contacted because I might have a chance to do some creativity in his very cabin. Yeah, whether it's writing, whether it's artwork, find your individual cabin so that you can celebrate life today. Don't wait till tomorrow, but today, this is the day. So let's go out and enjoy it and spread love.